At Albert Park College, the e-learning coordinator uses her knowledge of ICT in the classroom to encourage and support her colleagues to improve their teaching and learning practices. With a school that is so technology focused and we've got all teachers and students with iPads, um, it's not a job I could really do on my own. So the way that I really approach it is to try and build up the skills of as many other teachers as possible. Our e-learning vision is driven by, by an e-learning team and um, I'm part of an integral part of that team. Bridget McGuinness is uh, representing uh, the, the teacher body I guess and, uh, and so we know in practice how e-learning is evolving and we also uh, have as an integral part of that team our e-learning coordinator. So we've got the technical support, I guess uh, the, the classroom uh, vision and also the leadership vision and we meet weekly and we develop our vision together for the future of the college. I, I work closely with the curriculum leaders so that they're able to actually deliver uh, PD to their their staff that work within their area. Um, so the more that I can work directly with the curriculum leader, it actually allows for the transfer of knowledge to, to be greater rather than me working directly um, with every group. I think more than anything that's what it was with Bridge is that she didn't actually show me how to do it, she just encouraged me to teach myself how to do it. So she would give me the tools, she'd sit down with me and say, well, this is Google Docs, this is the potential of Google Docs, and then basically let me go nuts with it and just showed me the benefits of how you can use it. So every now and again it might be, Bridget, how do I do this? And rather than actually just showing me how to do it, she would encourage me to learn how to do it by myself. So a lot of the time I'd get a little bit frustrated with her because I wanted to just be shown, but that's Bridget's more about teaching you to teach yourself how to use the IT. Yeah, having Bridget's support has helped me because I am now actually able to create websites. I have a lot more confidence in myself. She's given me the tools that I need to be able to edit links, um, fix problems such as broken links, add content, add stuff to a sidebar, all these small little minute details that actually make a website more functional, make it easy to use for the students, for for me. Um, and before I wasn't really able to do that, I had not created a website before and now I feel quite confident in, in adding anything and, and editing anything on a website. What Bridget has really helped me to do is to feel very confident when it comes to IT. So at the beginning you were I was always really nervous that if I did something I would ruin it or wreck it, but I suppose one of the best things that she ever showed me was recent activity and how to revert back to what you did previously. So that's really encouraged me to go out and, and find videos and then I've learnt how to input videos on my website and that is a lot more engaging for students when there's videos and there's pictures and images so it really I'm now confident enough to go and teach other teachers how to do that basically because Bridget was there for me for seven months showing me how to do all of these different things so. What teaching strategies do you use to integrate ICT into teaching and learning programs? How does the use of ICT help to make the content meaningful to students?